What's up guys, to another episode of Tech Bro. Today we're doing an impressions video on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. This is basically the new sort of a phone in the S lineup. Definitely interesting phone that came out. I don't have any footage just saying, so there's not going to be any cutaways or anything. So it's just going to basically be me talking. So yeah, just a quick little warning. But the S6 Edge is basically the exact same as the S6, except it has a little extra line, sort of an extra, like, you know, dip bend of a display and everything so it has nearly the exact same specs it has those metal edges making it feel more like a premium phone it looks more like the iphone 6 plus from the bottom the back of the phone has that glossy look with the gorilla glass and it, i think it might be a fingerprint magnet it is thin and it has a 5.1 inch display with 4k oled which looks amazing it's described by marquez brown lee you can trust him he's a great reviewer so yeah 16 megapixel camera 4k with f1.9 aperture so it could be great photos Although Samsung doesn't do a great job with the processing, so, you know, I don't know, didn't see the camera, so I can't say anything yet. But 3GB of RAM for the processing, which is normal, most phones are coming out with that, so nothing really ex crazy there. No expandable storage, or you can't change out the battery, which is very sad, because Samsung's are known so much for doing that, but now they took that feature away, so many people probably won't buy the phone anymore, because that was very nice, actually, to do, but not anymore, so sad about that. It has a bad looking OS, they didn't change out the stock apps, they should have made it look more flat and all that, but they didn't, it looks terrible and there is still quite a lot of stock apps, although they did cut down on it, so yeah, I don't know about the sound, it's not boom sound or anything, it's probably going to be the, almost the exact same as the S5, but I don't know, I didn't hear it, so hopefully it is good. It has great features though, such as when someone's phoning you, the little edge of the display when you put down your phone, it actually curves out and then... It like, you know, if someone's phoning you, for example, maybe if a friend's phoning you, a certain friend, it could be blue. So then you just see this little blue thing and then you know one of your friends is phoning you. Maybe it's a like family member and then it could be red. So it's really cool. So you don't even need to pick up the phone to be able to know like who's phoning, which is really, really cool. I love that feature. Although I wish that it couldn't only be for that. I wish it could be like tweets and Facebook. So you can make Facebook a dark blue and then Twitter a light blue and all that. That would be really epic, but I don't think that they're going to add that feature. But I really wish they did. And as I've said, the display basically hangs, hangs out. It's basically just curves a little bit, just so you can see a little bit, which is nice because they added features like if you wake up then very dimly, so it doesn't like, you know, it's not too bright or anything and it doesn't waste battery. But you can see the time, which is very nice. And in my opinion, it is better than the S6. If you want to, like, if you have a choice of buying the S6 or S6 Edge, I would recommend the Edge. It, people say it feels even better in the hand. And that little curve of the screen really must add way more awesome effects and everything. So definitely recommend if you guys get the Edge instead of the S6. But basically, other than that, everything's the same to the S6. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And it is releasing on the same day that the S6 is releasing, which is the 10th of April. So definitely go and check out that phone. It looks really, really great. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And until next time in the next video, we will see you then.